Serizal, Andres Bonifacio, and Apolinario Mabini, to name but a few. There are some of the prominent Filipino in our Philippine history. But as past rebels, several Filipino women have also rightly won their place in history, battling for Philippine freedom and stepping into the front line. The Philippine experiences have shown that women also have continuously overcome barriers to improving the lives of the Filipinos. We're talking about these two brave women Filipino heroes who gave their great contributions in our country and to the Philippines. Looking back to the happening in our history, the Philippines has a long record of being colonized and ruled by foreign countries. We are not present during those times, but we can still be informed on what are the happenings during the past times. That is why it is very important to give value and to study the Philippine history, the series of events that happened many years in the past. Year 1565 up to 1898, the Philippines has been colonized by Spain. In 1565, when they sent an expedition to set up a settlement in Cebu. 1578, Christian Spaniards fought Muslim Renaissance for the control of the Philippines in a conflict known as the Castile War. During the 1600s, Spain unified the Philippines archipelago by conquering the remaining autonomous states. They invested heavily in the education and conversion to Christianity of the natives. The Spanish remained in control of the Philippines until 1898 when the United States began capturing Filipino cities. During the year 1988 to 1946, the United States of America rules the Philippines after aiding the Filipino revolutionaries to kick out the Spaniards. The United States decided to annex the Philippines. President McKinley was quoted and saying that the Filipinos were not unfit to the first South government. Filipino-U.S. relations were tense until independence was declared in 1946 after the Tidy McDuffie Act was passed. In the year 1941 to 1945, there's a Japanese conquest of the Philippines. On December 8, 1941, the Japanese launched a surprise attack on a U.S. military base in Luzon, just eight hours after the attack on Pearl Harbor. In April 1942, the United States Filipino forced to surrender to the Japanese at Bataan. At this point, thousands of prisoners of war were forced to undergo the infamous Bataan Death March, in which thousands of prisoners died on their way to a Japanese prison camp. The Japanese occupation of the Philippines ended in 1945 with the end of World War II. During the war in the Philippines, our Philippine heroes sacrificed their lives and gave their undying services to gain freedom to our country. To name the few, among the Philippine heroes, there are also women who gave honor in our country, battling for the Philippines freedom and stepping into the front line in spite of being a woman. Gabriela Silang and Teresa Mabanma, the two great women Filipino heroes. One of the most celebrated heroines in the Philippines, Gabriela Silang. Born in 1789, she led a short life with an eventful death. She was executed by Spanish authorities at just 24 years old for leading a rebellion against Spain. Maria Josefa Gabriela Carino de Silang is a revolutionary heroine in Philippine history. Gabriela Silang led one of the armed revolts against Spanish dictatorship. She attempted to lead her army back to Vigan but once again defeated. In September 1763, Gabriela Silang was apprehended and publicly executed by hanging. She ascended to become the Philippine Revolution's first female leader. She was given the title Generala, which meant Woman General. Her actions also sparked the country's foremost grassroots women's alliance in April 1984. Her ferocious journey towards vegan is commemorated in several sculptures constructed around the country to mark her bravery and sacrifice. Despite her loss, Gabriela Silang is remembered for her incredible courage in fighting for a locust freedom. Another brave woman Filipino hero is Teresa Magbanwa, the Filipina Joan of Arc who fought colonizer in three Philippine wars and supported the army during World War II. Teresa Magbanwa is an educator turned into a general among her fellow soldiers. Magbanwa joined the Katipunan's women's chapter in Panay and was given her own troops to fight against the colonizing Spaniards. She became the first and only female soldier to ever lead a troop in Visayas region. Her victory in the Battle of Barrio Yuting in Tapis and Sapong Sara earned her title of Visayan Joan of Arc. People have known Joan of Arc as a lady who helped leading a French army to victory. It was being titled for Magbanua to be Visayas Joan of Arc 
because of her strategy during the battle that brought them victory. Filipino troops were able to drive out the Spanish, but American troops soon moved in to replace them as the country's next colonizers. Magbanwa and her two high-ranking brothers once again took up arms to defend Iloilo against the Americans after the Mac Battle of Manila, where the United States and Spain got into an agreement to give control of the Philippines to the U.S. After the Philippine-American War, Magbanwa returned home. However, war once again reared its head when the Japanese invaded the Philippines during World War II. Magbanwa, who reached old age by that time, still participated in the war. She provided constant financial support to the guerrilla movement. The Philippines was liberated in 1946. America granted nominal independence to the country.